the gates of hell But I won't back down No, I stand my ground Won't be turned around And I keep this world from dragging me down Gonna stand my ground everybody hello hello what's up youtube world what's happening out there hopefully you're not having a rainy day like we are yep looks like it's raining fucking coast to coast what's up everybody spitfire sunny sides up in here road rash what's happening i heard somebody's make, uh, making trouble for road rash yesterday i'm sorry about that oh i saw that too What's up, Lisa Oldham's? Ash is here, Jasmina, Glow. Which Glow, I did see you tag me in one of your videos. It is on my watch later. Thank you for doing that because somehow I missed it. Ash Tastic is here. What's going on, Ash? Hope you're feeling good. Oh, Ash is Lisa. a Lisa Ash Tastic is a Sorry, Ash Tastic is a fellow Yinzer from Pittsburgh. Cool. Lisa said, I'm so shocked old Betts wasn't on scene searching for that girl in Orlando. It's right in her backyard. Well, I mean, she had more important things to do. Don't you know, Lisa? Oh, Amex <laughs> says it started to snow, but it didn't stick. Well, that's good. So they're getting rain there, too. Oh, well, I, I'm in Central California, so... Just about, it, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes from me, they got like 10 fucking feet of snow up in Truckee and up towards uh, Ajo. I wanted to go see it, but the whole, everything's closed. You can't even get up there. The videos coming out of there are amazing, though. It looks like an actual being inside of a snow globe. Hey, Tracy Esme. Oh, Road Rush said, I brought that on myself. It was funny. Well, I have to say, I mean, I was watching and <laughs> it was i mean you held your own you held your own um i see a uh, glow with glow is here good to see you glow i've been watching all your videos Glow. they're they're very entertaining to me i watch them late at night before i go to sleep 
<laughs> if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, Glow sings and uh, talks about her life experiences. She's a very interesting person. She's seen a lot um, down in Nashville, the music, the music industry down there. Very cool person. I recommend everyone check her out. Well, so there's Coco Puff. Chris, the notorious Crystal Langford is in the house. Yes, Always good to Crystal. see you, Crystal. The only Crystal in the world. Yeah, the one and only. So, it's been a hell of a week, huh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> forget, pool, forget pool boys. Pool <laughs> girls are getting things all stirred up on these streets. <laughs> I do have some breaking news, though. Cannonball! Forget I've Desperate never... Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone so triggered uh, about someone swimming in their pool in, in you know, in Florida. <laughs> Fucking clowns, man. It's cool, though. I mean, I don't know. Where, where I'm from, we're always nice to the people that own pools, so that way you can get invited over when they have a pool party. Makes no sense to be mean to the person with the pool. Yeah. Oh, sunny side. Uh, our our uh, our friend SoFlo Mama um, had a little interaction with the hive there. You know exactly what you would expect, and now they've been trying to bully her as well. Oh, I must admit, making, they're already making videos about her. Oh yeah, and there's all kinds of alts because let's we we now know that all these alts that you know Emmy and I are accused of making, it, there are none. It just doesn't happen. I'll say it again for those in the back. I have. I have two that I use. Dinner is my main account, and then Saint is my backup. Both of those channels have trademarks behind the name, so there's no question about who it is. Um, admittedly, Emmy's you know less confrontational, less confrontational than I am, but I must say that um, if we have something to say to someone, we don't say it uh, you know in a disguised way. We say it with our whole chest and directly to the person. Yeah, I just don't say anything at all these days. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and just so you guys know, Emmy doesn't even want to talk about this shit anymore, but um, so much went on this week. Uh, I think it should be discussed, so I will be the one doing the discussing. Um, well, and I mean, so flows my friend. So, I mean, obviously what happened to her was not okay. No, not at all. I mean, it's exactly what happens to all decent people to try to enter the that's, you know, disaster of a space in YouTube. And it's such a closed, you know, such a closed circle there. They, they actually think that they're correct about everything, which is amazing. Hey, Scorpio, how's it going? Ninja, good to see you. Um, anyone could put a uh, trademark yeah. behind their name. I don't, I don't think they got the point of what I was saying, but they can watch the replay and get it. Yeah, you and the TM, I mean, the TM is just a, a joke because yeah. that's what Bullhorn did. Like, it's not anything, it's not even a big deal. It's just Betty did it, so we did it. <laughs> I know, I, I put a trademark there because uh, I wanted to. <laughs> so that's simple. I love that it triggers haters. Um, but just to clear up any confusion there, what I'm saying is I don't have a bunch of alts like people keep running around saying, like, it, that's just a complete bold faced lie. Um, I guess we could start off there though. Um, I guess, uh, looks like there was a big to do in crime, crimes and fashions chat the other day. I wasn't online. I didn't come online until about 45 minutes after that shit was already taken down. So I still haven't seen the comments other than bits and pieces that other clip channels have made. Um, I'll just make it abundantly clear. Neither Emmy and I had anything to do with anything going on in Lisa's chat. This didn't happen. I understand they want it to be that way, just like they want us to be in their own words. And they want, you know, me to not have been in the military and all this weird shit. They're just wrong about everything. Um, what I think happened is, uh, 
I think Becky had her own people do that for some sympathy. That way she'd have something to, you know, to make herself a martyr. Like, look what just happened to me. That's not what happened. I mean, if I'm online pestering somebody, sure, I'll take, I'll take it. But if I'm not even on the fucking internet and you're still blaming me for stuff, then there's something wrong with you. And uh, Coco Puff said, hashtag, I support people in pools. And I changed my avatar just for you, SoFlo. I am now, to sh I'm a shark cupcake. I tried to find a pool one, but I couldn't find one I really liked. So I did the shark instead. Rebecca Cross says, that's a thought. I'm not sure what that's referencing, but. Oh. Um, I, I didn't get the memo about the, the pool party or else I would have changed my stuff. Oh yeah, sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I just thought about changing it. And although I don't really know if I like that one, but it's sticking for now. I couldn't even. I wouldn't even known that was a shark fan had you not said it. Oh really? Actually, I did. I here's one. This is a little bit. I think this one's a little bit better. I mean, there are sharks sometimes out there, but not necessarily in pools. Um, Rebecca Cross says it's referencing it could be in QB's own people. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, um, but I don't really give a shit. I mean, <laughs> it, what's clear to me is whoever hurt Becky years ago was not me and was not Emmy. So I don't understand why she wants to blame the two of us for everything that goes wrong in her sloppy situation. I have no interest in following her around doing anything. Um, once a week right here for an hour or two that's it that's all the energy she's worth to me um but i am a little bit emboldened and, and happy to see that youtube has finally gotten off of their butt and went ahead and took her video down last night during her live that gives me some confidence and things are heading in the right direction And um, if we can't be respectful, I will delete your comment. Just an FYI. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, I, may I read that anyways? It's, it's hilarious. Um, it's, it's funny that Queen Bee's people always... I can put it on always... the screen even so everybody can see how absurd the comment is. Queen Bee's little simps always use the most violent way to describe things. Um, always the lowest blow you know if a man criticizes them the things they say about men and if a woman does it same thing m faithful i wonder what you're faithful to m faithful says queen b totally slammed so flow mama you consider that a slam i consider that being a despicable person with no social grace whatsoever um it's not absurd to swim in your fucking pool if you have a pool, lady. It's really that simple. What if I was sitting in a pool right now? Right, and I think yeah. at least what I've heard, it's it's a travesty to even be in your pool listening to a live while reading chat. <laughs> or even just listening so that you're not modding because you're just listening or watching so uh, yeah the, the hive has more triggers than your local gun store does <clears throat> and i mean i'm starting to understand this and you know part of part of me feels sympathy for those people because like I, you know i the more i learn about people that gravitate towards the true crime community as a whole most of these people have been through some wretched shit, you know and and uh, i'm not I may have been in the past, you know, not so sensitive to that, but uh, you know, what, all you could do is get better. Um, but the big problem is, you know, especially being a man in this community, if if something occurred in the past to someone, they really want to, they really want to take me and squeeze me into the little box that they've been carrying around with them for years. I didn't do that to them, you know. I I may I may say something that triggers them or whatever. Um, but that that can't be my concern. All I all I can care my, concern myself with is being honest and keeping the facts straight, which I very much do, despite what they say. Hey, True Texans here. Yep, I did see True Texan. Good to see you. 
Rebecca Cross says, squeeze you like a lemon. I haven't heard, I heard people referencing that, but I um, haven't seen that. They, they, you know, they're, they're just very, you know, primal, violent people, you know? And I, I know the instinct for most of us here is to just not ruffle their feathers or ignore stuff or just, you know, don't take part at all. But I don't do that. I, I just don't like bullies and I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn a blind eye to it, especially you know, when it's so obvious and it's affecting people that are, I know for a fact that are good people, which they aren't. So there's that. I mean, the pool thing is just an example. Like, how can you get tr triggered by somebody swimming in their, in their own pool? Is that like pool envy or what the hell? Hey, Jeannie. Well, On one comment, one comment I saw had said, how can you be in your pool? It's winter. <laughs> they don't know that Florida is a state in this country. <laughs> well, I mean, the north I can see, like you probably shouldn't be in a pool if you're up north unless it's a hot tub. But it's warm in a lot of places around the country. So. Hey, there's a good nanya, Mr. Nobody. The good nanya, I, I don't know if you guys watched good nanya's live the other day, but it seems to me she's taking a break. And I can't say that I blame her. Um, but it does make me sad that YouTube chases good, well-spoken people away. You know, that's just, uh, it's just not fair, but that's just the way it goes. But I am encouraged to see her in the chat still, so that's cool. Yeah, and she has been posting community posts because I've I've read them. So I'm glad you're you're taking a break, but still posting and, you know, hanging out because that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I would be lying to you guys if I told you I didn't consider just deleting this app off my phone and uh, being done with it. But I think I can actually do some good here, so that's my intent. Hey, Hope's Echo. Good to see you. Okie Lisa Prime says, News. Lisa oh, says pool shaming, in Florida. Hmm. pool shaming in Florida. Hey, what is a pool shaming? Like, strange. Again, always be nice to the person in your community with a pool because you might get this way. Dummies. A good Nanya. Oh, thanks. Good Nanya. I appreciate that. I, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just posted my first video on Tuesday and uh, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, Mr. Nobody, I made you a lemon th lemon themed terminator. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um what I was saying is I, I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm doing everything on my phone for for the current be time being. So bear with me with the aspect ratio and all that shit with those videos, but I have a pretty good idea what I want to say. Faithful, you're allowed to reply. Absolutely. You're not blocked. I just deleted your comment because it was a little bit disrespectful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. anybody yeah. who watched that and, and thought that SoFlo Mama got slammed by, by that woman is, is uh, I don't know. Someone did someone time her out? Yeah, I I don't know if it was an accident. I did see somebody timed her out. I just deleted the comment. So well, well welcome back and just be more respectful and you won't be timed out. It's really not complicated. No, I didn't time out. I just deleted the comment. Oh, okay. And then reminded just to be be respectful. It's pretty simple. I oh, mean, Lisa said I think I did it on accident. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, you're back, M Faithful. So, um, yeah, I, I I don't see anything positive or cute or funny about the way Soflo was treated when she went up there. I mean, oh, Soflo <laughs> says time you you out. Well, we don't want to time you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, what I don't know all of the details. I guess somebody was went into crime and fashions crimes and fashions uh 
chat and started like poking fun at, at Queen, I guess. And then, but I, then I saw Narcos clips um, of screenshots of the chat and it looked to me that nobody was getting bullied. It seemed like uh, Becky herself was doing the bullying. So that makes more sense to me because everything she says is a fucking lie. And then you just look at the exact opposite and that's most likely what occurred. And I'll be right over and back. over again. I'll be right back. Rebecca Cross says, I don't watch crimes and fashion. I used to, um, but I had a similar occurrence with Queen B in that chat when I came in and said hello. And, uh, you know, the, the constant uh, drumbeat of her being the most important person in the world, you know, overshadowed me just saying hello. And then we got into a, a, a little tissy there in the chat. And then, and then Lisa blamed it all on me, which is really funny because I haven't been over there since then. And now, something happened and that was months ago and now they're blaming it on me again that shit it doesn't work like that i wasn't even on the fucking internet i was outside fresh air so good none says the comments that trolls put in chat were really gross and out of pocket yeah i from what i understand they were and i i don't support going after anyone's children i'm not down with that if anybody thinks that they're helping me out by if you, let's just say for instance somebody was doing that because they like me and they're trying to take a shot at that woman. Please don't do that because I don't support going about people's children at all. I have in the past um, observed and made a comment about, oh, that person is probably not a good parent, but that's the extent of it. I don't talk about people's families and kids. That's that's fucking off limits. So just to be accused of that is is you know not great. Rebecca's in. Rebecca Cross is in Central Cali. I'm, I'm up here too. Um, Anarcho says, no, the screenshots are from something else. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I got that mixed up. Um, oh, I see we have a visitor. Who do we got? AMAC. Um, I hope that's AMAC in the back. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that yet, so... I can't see what you're doing there. <laughs> oh, on the case with GEI. Um, the Hive, they, they were talking about SoFlo, um, blaming her for what happened in Lisa's chat, Lisa as in terms of fashion. Um, of course they were blaming her. That's okay. So SoFlo is a mod in there and she was being blamed for letting things go when she shouldn't have. Um, and SoFlo was only half-ass moderating because she was in a pool living her best life. So that's where the pool criticism comes in. At, at the, you know, but at the root of it, SoFlo did nothing wrong. Um, it's a hazard to have, have that person as, or have Queen as a moderator. Could you imagine? Everywhere she goes, it's going to be disaster. And here's the thing. Lisa's smarter than that. You know, it, even though she was what I consider being unfair with me when that shit happened months ago, I let it go because I still kind of, you know, I have respect for her. I like what she does. Um, she's not like other people. Um, but she has to know that, you know, it's a hazard to have someone like that as a mod. Had that person not been a mod there, none of that would have happened. So, you know, instead of taking responsibility like she should have, just blame it on SoFlo. <laughs> It's like they have a playbook and there's only three plays in it. What's going on, Emmy? Not much. Just typing responses in the chat. Oh, I see. Blaming on the rain. I mean, it's either the, these are their fall guys now. It's either me, they don't even blame Emmy anymore, except. You know, when they do blame her for something, it's ironic that they blame her specifically when she's unavailable to be online because she has a, a profession and they can't seem to wrap their head around that. I mean, I, I private message Emmy all the time and I, when she's at school, I might share a link and then we can get to it at her convenience, but I don't call her, you know, too often let her know what's going on at all because she's a busy woman. Um, the only thing... The, the women at the hive are busy doing are running their damn mouths and spreading misinformation. Let's keep it real here. Hey, Shady. 
Um, yeah, Shady's one of the usual suspects, Nanya. It's like, and the funny thing is, we don't even know each other very well. I mean, for, for as long as we've been, uh, you know, rubbing elbows here on YouTube, I, you know, there's no, there's no connection to all the people that they're trying to blame for the same shit over and over again. The only, con the only thing that we have in common is that we, we can all see straight through the bullshit of the hive and we're not in, we're not in some type of, you know, trance by their, uh, their voices. Let me see. What did Shady say? Yeah, sorry. They're moving pretty quick. Oh, I will say they blamed Laura for making comments herself while getting chemo. That's That says a lot and why I think they would do that BS. Oh, yeah. Did you hear what she said? She said, and what else are you going to do? You got you got nothing but hit time on your hands when you're sitting in a chemo office. What a oh, despicable no, I did thing. Not hear that. What a despicable thing to say. Oh, you don't have you're getting chemotherapy. Of course you have time to do that because you're just sitting in a chair. I mean, everything that comes out of that trash heap is just it seems like it's escalating to become worse and worse and worse. Uh, on the case with Jeannie says, Sinner, did you see my comment on the Mm, I don't even say that person's name. Um, fuck it, I'll say it. No Wire Hangers is a doxer, a fucking YouTube stalker, and a, a just general like public menace. If if no one's noticed that by now, then maybe have a look. And there's no question in my well, there doesn't have to be a question. She works hand in hand with the hive. Yeah, and I she mean, posted the proof not too long ago. And let remember. It's the hive along with no wire hangers are the ones that dox me. So I my memory is not the best, but it wasn't that long ago. So nice try, you scoundrels. Hey, Zero Jewels. Good to see you. Narcos Clip says, what does she do all day? I've got some I've got some guesses, but I've I've been warned to not be that honest on YouTube anymore. Use your imagination. What, I mean, what every... I would say she's probably doing what all other uh, irresponsible people in Illinois are, are doing. No, I, Senator, I told him off, actually, all of them. Well, thanks, Jeannie. I appreciate that. But I don't want anybody, like, taking up battle for me because, obviously, you know, it's gonna. this is going to be a long, drawn-out thing before, you know... Everybody notices that the you know the, that channel and those people are not good for society as a whole. You know, it may never happen. They may just continue to, you know, stack cash. And the giddiness, whenever they get big, they've been getting big donations. I mean, I don't hate that hustle, but the fact of the matter is, like, there are way more important things in life than money. You know, there's a hard day's work. You know, a sense of accomplishment. Um. Just, you know, just feeling good in general is, is far more important than money is. We all like money. But like if you're if you're on a live and you're gloating about getting money and half of the people that are sending you that money are deciding on whether or not to buy their prescription drugs for the month or send you ten dollars, you shouldn't be gloating. You should be humble and you should uh not use it against, you know, people that don't like you. It's just such an ugly look. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's so ugly that I can see it from California. I didn't say I don't like my true text, and I'm just saying that there's far more important things. Like, I mean, I, I, was, I was raised Catholic. I'm not so religious anymore. But what I do remember about my Bible studies is that if you worship money, you're in real bad shape. Money is just paper. We have to have like more value for uh, the, the living things here on Earth. Hey, Ten. Good to see you. Oh, Rebecca Cross. That's a question I ask as well. When are you going <laughs> live, Sinner? Oh, probably never. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm setting up to do it. I'm trying to get a, a grip on just making shorts. And uh, I mean, I... I'm I'm getting better at it, so here soon. Oh, Nunya, I remember that when everybody changed their names to Troll as 
blank screen in BHB's chat and she ended up either getting wind of it, which I assume is what happened. So she never did the live um, until later that day, but I remember that. Oh no, I lost my co-host. He must have um, hit a button. Hopefully he realizes that he's not. Oh, here he comes. All right, you're back. Oh no, I I, re I realized right away. I was trying to look at the, the the chat. I was trying to look at the. I was trying to look at the chat. Hang on. You there? Yep, we're here. I was saying <laughs> this new phone. I can't get the sensitivity of the screen right. Like it's too sensitive. I got to turn it down, down. Hey, Yanni, Yanni, glad to see you. And Mr. Nobody, I'm not sure what you're referencing. Another tantrum? Where do I see this tantrum? I'm not sure what. I mean, just look, I would say look at any of the Hives lives from this week, but she's privated or put them all Well, some Pandora. of them are, mem yeah, a lot of them are members. Well, one of them is um, members only. <laughs> I mean, you know you're a good person doing good things whenever you... <laughs> go live and talk all crazy and then put that make people pay for it <laughs> that's not grimy at all guys that's perfectly normal nothing to see here i mean you could you could just turn that station on and it's going to be like 10 seconds before you hear someone talking vulgar about someone's private parts or saying the word children fucking bizarre Mr. Nobody got gifted a membership. My, actually, Emmy Headstone got gifted a membership, but it wasn't me. <laughs> That's funny. And thankfully, one of the mods realized that it was a fake Emmy Headstone account. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I think, uh, well, I, I mean, there's so much happened this week that I've, I've already forgotten about. Can't even. I mean, I really like doing this just once a week. Um, I've been really limiting my time. Uh, I haven't been on anybody's panels, none of that. Um, I guess partially to be stubborn and prove a point. Like, I don't even have to be online to be blamed for everything. It's kind of sweet, I guess, you know. It's a, keep saying my name. That's fine. Um, but I'm not, playing, I'm not playing along to any of their games. I'm not trolling them. Again, anything I got to say, I will say directly to them as Sinner. Or as Dave, if they have to have it that way. I really don't give a shit. But they're not. Um, the very first time I got into beef with those people, I said, you're not pumping any fear here. And they were like, what does that mean? That means I'm not afraid of you. Not, none of your antics, none of that is intimidating. None of it. It's annoying as shit. Don't get me wrong. But uh, you just barking up the wrong tree with that. Hey, Willow, good to see you. Um, I, I see there's chat in the back, but I can't I can't mess with it because I don't want to uh, risk dropping down again. Oh, yeah, it was just it, it was just AMAC answering one of my questions from before. So I understand AMAC or uh, should I say the uh, real the rural housewives of YouTube have um, moved their lab to tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, no, no, I agree. Listening to hear instead of listening to respond is so hard for most I see there right now. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to get better at that. And uh, I mean, I think even Nanya would agree with me that pra practicing a pause can have many different, you know, um, forms and variations. Like my, my practicing of a pause is not, not impulsively jumping on panels, you know, not, we're not, we're not going live in direct response to the most egregious things being said about us. Just, just let them have it, you know, and just like clear it up at the end of the week is the best way to do it because that's what they want. They want that co constant back and forth. 
I mean, Emmy and I are making that bitch so much fucking money that it's. I don't well, know what not me anymore. You're making her a lot of money because it's everything is you these days. Oh yeah, because well, let's get into that. Um, she seems to think that she's going to take my channel. Um, no, my channel is growing 10, 15 subscribers every day. And I just started, I just posted my first video Tuesday. It's Saturday. I mean, she keeps saying she struck all of my channels. I don't have a bunch of channels. I have one channel of my own, which is Sinner. And then I, I'm the co-host of this channel that you're watching. I mean, in order to get every single detail wrong, and you reach a point where you're not just getting it wrong, you're just a fucking liar. I mean, that's what that's what's happening here. Oh, Buttercup, I said hi to you earlier. You must not have heard me, but I saw you. So, I said hi. Yeah, in case I wasn't clear, that means this channel that we're you guys are watching does currently have one strike that we're we are disputing. So that'll be gone here soon. Yes. Um, yes. And then there are then, then there are then no one has done anything. No one's taking shit. No one's uh, intimidating shit. I mean, nice try, Becky. It, it's not going to happen. Right. And to be clear, this channel has a strike. Yes, Sinner does not saying. have another channel with a strike. I, I guess she's she's uh, so oblivious that she still believes that I'm in their own words. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, at this point, I got to say, like, uh, you gotta, you gotta give up on that because if it was me, the videos would be way meaner, and I would take credit for it. It's really that simple. I know you want it to be me, and I can explain to you why you want it to be me, even if you're not smart enough to know it yourself. You ready? I'll tell you. You've, you've, sw you've spent and wasted so much energy and resources in discrediting me as a person, in my character, in my past, in my military service, that. If you can pin this in their own words, fit on me, then half the work is already done because you've already been wasting so much time. So if you discredit me, it makes it easier to discredit this channel that's calling you out on your dumb shit. See what I mean? It's not me. In fact, I don't even know at this point who it is. I'd love to know, but I don't. Hey, Grandma Sherry. How are you? Hey. Peach. Willow's in the house too. Willow oh, wants Chronicles. to know. Good point. Chronicle says, off topic, do you know how many channels I know went over the Soto affidavit? She lies and YouTube doesn't say, quote, oh, it's okay. And you don't get a warning or nothing. Well, and this is the only thing I'm going to say, because I, I, like I said, I'm done talking about them because they're not important. Um, why would you continue to, why would you say you got a warning, but then continue to say that you're fighting the, the, the hit or the strike? Like if it's a warning, what's there to fight? Yeah. I just, I just, I just made a short about it about an hour ago. Um, oh, okay. You know, I can't see, you can play it if you want. I mean, that might be cool. Uh, sure. Let me go. Um, and I'm sorry about the aspect ratio on the videos. Uh, some very polite soul left a comment. Um, and I thought it was a troll just effing with me, and it turns out they're right. I got to change the aspect ratio. I'm new at this. I keep trying to tell them it's yeah. I mean, at this point, I think I just got to call Jones and have a fucking talk on the telephone like two adults because I I really am in the dark about what's going on at the time. I really just don't know. I don't know who it is. I mean, obviously, whoever it is. Is listening to me and hold, and having you know holding some credence in the words that I'm saying and how I'm going about this. And I'm grateful for that because they point out things in a way that my hot-headed ass can't do. So I'm, I'm grateful for it. But you think I would know who it is, and I understand why they think it would be me, but it's not me. And that's the last time I'm going to say it. But to summarize, if they if they convince everyone it's me then it, it, it discredits the channel because they've worked so hard to discredit me. Yeah, I don't care who no, no, wire, hang, no wire hangers is. Nobody does. Fucking creep. I mean, I can tell you who she is. She's just like a, you know those gargoyles from the Wizard of Oz? Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's what they're like. That's the what uh, monkeys? Yeah, that's what they're like. They're just like gargoyles. 
and really i they're probably not bad people but they're just uh, you know they got bad brains for this you know support for that for that situation and it just makes for toxic shit everywhere and the thing is the people in charge of that channel know damn well what they're doing they promote these people they play their shorts that are all chopped up and look like they've been made by an actual serial killer i mean it's wild but i mean I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay optimistic with this one and think that YouTube is going to get rid of all these scumbags that do nothing but bring harm to the world. You know, call me crazy, but that's my anticipation. That's what I'm looking forward to. So, it, Sinner, is it the one that you, the last one you posted, it says, is yeah. YouTube taking action? Yes. All right, I have it ready. I mean, I don't want to force it on people, but it, it does speak to what we were just talking about. No, and it says, I call them, I call them slander channels. Yeah. I mean, they really are. All right, here we go. My. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? What's happening? I figured I'd come back on here and chit-chat with you guys and let you guys know what happened. So as we were live, uh, just a few minutes ago, the stream went down. And it said harassment and bullying on there, which I knew was some bullshit. So I was like, what the hell's going on? So of course, uh, YouTube reached out to me. So they said it was, uh, they were, it was a community community guidelines uh, harassment and bullying. So I, uh, I appealed it. And I sent an email in or whatever. So I'm like, I'm on my appeal. But during the meantime, um, I reached out to check with some, you know, to talk with somebody on uh, YouTube. And I said, um, what's going on? Well, they gave me a timestamp. And the exact timestamp was right after we got done talking about the affidavit. Oh, there might be more. My. Oh, it just repeats. Okay, let me watch it again. Yo, what's happening? What's happening? I figured I'd come back on here and chit chat with you guys and let you guys know what happened. So as we were live, uh, just a few minutes ago, the stream went down. All right. Yeah, there you go. So I'm getting better right. at the little videos. I just... Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, I mean, just in that, it, then it, somehow I nailed it exactly one minute. Um, in that video, it's double, triple talk. She's like, I just, I just reached out to YouTube, or you know, they reached out to me, and then, and then I talked to somebody uh, at YouTube. She got, she does she have the the telephone number to the magical fucking red phone? Is it how does she have a person there? Well, I don't there is, there is. If you have over, I think it's ten k. There's there's some number that you actually can speak to someone from YouTube. Like you don't you mean just to tell that. me. Yeah, you Benny has to... the same thing. Okay, so you mean to tell me if if I just if I go on a website and buy ten thousand um, subscribers tonight, and I wake up tomorrow with you know eleven thousand subs. Oh, Willow says a hundred k subs for that service. Oh, thank you, Willow. Okay. Yeah, and listen, listen, uh, uh, you know, a so small a time. A small time con, con artist like her on YouTube is not going to have like a, a magical phone number to call because there have been way, you know, just higher quality human beings here that have had a way diff more difficult time than she has. And they couldn't even get any uh, an actual person on the phone. So I'm going to say stop the cap with that one. You know, magical damn person. Let's just face it. And Chronicle says, if it's for the content she went over, that's not bullying and harassment. That's what I thought it would be like violent or repulsive content, or I don't even know what it said because I haven't, I haven't listened to the affidavit, but if it was for a license number address, that is bullying harassment, but an affidavit could be an exception like for the others. Okay. Yeah, me, I, I agree. Like, uh, the commentary thing is, is vital to fair use. You know, and I, I mean, I, there, there are ways and it's, it's sort of a gamble. They'll, you know, they'll accept the strike sometimes. And then the very next day for the exact same thing, they won't. So. Uh, Chronicle says you can't appeal the terms of service strikes, but usually not that quick. Oh, I know. She's like, Oh yeah. I, I went ahead and I, she didn't do nothing. He sat there and talked to Timmy in the back, in the back chat and was just like, what do I do? And he's just like, just go live again. I'm like, that's the right thing to do. So sloppy. And then to come back and just lie to everybody and be like, 
oh, I guess there's new terms of service that I wasn't aware of. Well, if you're not aware of the terms of service and you're going live, that's probably against the terms of service. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I see what Mr. Nobody's saying. You need an overlay with some avatars to help. That helps like AI make made or something. Yeah, I noticed like uh, on my phone, it puts like three little triangles on the bottom of, of any, it does a watermark that shows that AI was used. Uh, Johnson says, so was it on that specific stream or possibly a strike went through for something else? and automatically ended her stream. I don't know how all that works, oh. Jones, and she did come back live about, I don't know, I don't know how long later, because I, I had my own live going on when that happened, but I don't know how that works. If it, it said that stream had ended for harassment and or bullying. So I, I would assume it was for that live, but again, I don't, I'm still learning YouTube. Yeah, right, yeah. Shady, because um, Ikid Mel went over the affidavit, and he didn't get his video taken down. Well, I mean, Ikid Mel is a, is a consummate professional. You know I mean? He's good at what he does. And the, the, the hive is not. I mean, just look. I mean, anytime there's true crime, I mean, do you, you think Ikid Mel's going to be like, oh, I wonder if Queen is live? Is she, he doesn't give a shit what she's doing because he's good at what he does. And he'll have thousands of people watching him, you know, perform like an optimal YouTuber at the top of his game. Um, his mods are on fire. He's rocking the ship. And then meanwhile, they're telling fart jokes and showing uh, parody clips of JP in between like child murder cases on the hot. I mean, it's just night and day. So I don't, there's no comparison whatsoever. People keep trying to compare the two of them because Ikimel is in the lawsuit as well. Well, Ikimel is a righteous lawsuit fully righteous lawsuit and he's going to win that shit so again apples and oranges not the same thing uh crispy it is true that this channel struck videos jones and wants to say hello to everyone yeah, I, have, I always, I'm developing this issue where I go into chat and like someone I really like says hi to me and then someone else, I really, and it's like, shit, I can't say hi to everyone. We need to come up with a way. I got to come up with a way to handle that. I just, I'm just putting blanket statements recently. Just hope everyone's doing well. Right. And it's not as easy to tag on a phone than it is a computer. Like on a computer, when you hit the at and start to spell their name, it'll actually come up. Whereas on a phone, you actually, to actually tag somebody, you have to type it out. And that's, um. I was just trying to figure out what's up, what's wrong with Tina's uh, comment that's being held back. I can't, I can't send it. All it says is, okay, hey Mac, how much is it? I have to squeeze myself into a bikini? Oh, about their pool party live tomorrow. No, but I'm saying it restricted uh, Gina's password, or not password, comment. Anyways, is uh, Amac still backstage? You want to come talk? Yeah, Amac, you still ready? She's been hanging out in, in the... Um, Willow says tagging on the phone should be made illegal. <laughs> I, I, I can't tag the, the big shitheads that I've been making videos about now because they all block me. Which is, you know, good, but at the same time, it it loses its luster. But the fact of the matter is, when I make a video about them, they get it. They're one of the first ones to see it. Believe that. Faithful subscribers. All right, Amac is ready. All right. Hey, Amac. Oh, I like that picture hey. too. Thank you. Well, what I wanted to talk about kind of already passed in the chat, but. <laughs> Um, Go for it. And you sound a little bit low, Amac. I don't know if you can. Let me try. I, mean, I don't know if I can do anything with it. Does it sound better? Gina, Gina says, I'm just being a smart ass. Well, I tell you what, in my experience in life, a smart ass beats a, a dumbass nine times out of 10. So get it. All right. So I did change some things on my end, too. So let's see if 
Is that better? Oh yes, much better. Okay. There we go. And uh, since since they're very annoyed, uh, specifically Becky gets upset when I mention there's 166 people in here. Our last live, roughly the same amount, and she went live and said we had 50 people in there. No, we didn't. Again, lies on lies on lies. Oh, we have another guest. Do we want to? It depends uh, on who it is. It's so I mean, slow. Oh, let's do it. Ooh, party. It's a party. Hi, <laughs> hey, guys. What's Hi. up, so slow? Hi. I'm just here for moral support. Just hanging so, out. So slow. I figured out why they don't like you. It's not because you're well, pool. Why? Why is it's it? Is it it's because, it's because I'm a spoiled bitch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What and, else? and and, Am I and I, the, yeah. the, I, your, the education probably kills them, but the icing on the cake is you're just comfortable with the person you are and you're better looking than they are. So, I mean, uh, I get uh, it. And I'll be I mean, honest. I, I said it was the whole cleavage thing. The first live y'all did. Cleavage. I mean, <laughs> we haven't seen cleavage. Come on. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're doing our bikini stream tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I'm just I mean, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Depend, but on, but but for real, depending on how you look at it, uh, SoFlo may be bullying people with her boobs. I'm just saying. Oh, is that what the word on the street is now? It's not the bull, it's the boobs now. <laughs> that's what it is. I haven't oh. heard that yet, but I mean, I'm I'm sure that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> oh, wow. I agree, Gina. SoFlo's hot. Yeah. Here's the so thing. Any, Even if I wasn't hot, I still would. I still would say the same thing. Because oh, like yeah. Jenner said, like I'm not scared of anybody. I'm not going to hold back, and I'm not going to allow somebody to trash my name. Period. Amen. And I so think I mean, I, I mean, I, if I be... did feel like I did something wrong, I would apologize. I do not feel like I did anything wrong at all. No, you didn't. You did not. So I I'm mean, not no. apologizing. No. Can I just no. say something real quick? Sorry. Yeah. And the, the real reason I came up in the first place was because the comment keeps getting thrown around. Well, she she wasn't modding. She wasn't doing her job. There was like five other mods in there deleting the comments as soon as they were appearing. And so, wasn't she also a mod who could have deleted those comments herself? Yes. Yeah. But. There was no con there was nothing for SoFlo to delete. We were on top of it. So that that was just my only Yeah. Well, thing I mean, I she to really say. She, she's able to keep this script by going, you know, perpetually moving forward and the money coming in. If it's it's easier for her if she makes herself feel like a victim because then she's earned it in some way. But the fact is she hasn't earned anything except animosity from good people and and some money. You know, a couple couple shekels. But I said it before. And this whole it thing where people are like, it's your job. Like, you <laughs> know, bitch, my job is to take care of my kids and my husband. That's my job. I don't have a job. So that's my job. You know what I mean? Like this whole like fascination with this cartoon wrench. Like, um, I'm sorry that you think that I wasn't in my pool. I was. And <laughs> I don't need to prove that to you. And like there was no doxing of her children. That's a whole nother bullshit ass lie. Oh and yeah. That, I'm that's so the victim. tired of hearing that. Like, show me where there was doxing of your kids. Cause I want to see that. Yeah. It never happened. No, I mean, and, and also even if it did happen to blame it on us or, you know, so flow or, or myself. Me. No, or, it's, it's being blamed on it, me, not even anyone else. So yeah, well, it's specifically, uh, you know, because they don't like you. You know, it's yeah, easier. Yeah, and that's okay. Like, yeah. I don't like them. So that's okay. Like, it's mutual. So I'm yeah. fine with that. But, like, what's not fine is making up lies. Oh, well. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's like, I I'm fine with you not liking me. I'm okay with that. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I mean, like, I think, I think, yeah. I mean, they, they've done the same thing to me. I've been a lot more vocal. Like, you've been actually polite and careful not to criticize outside of, you know, boundaries you know i i don't do that so much i just say i'm more flippant with things i say exactly what i mean and i've seen you exercise restraint so 
the fact well, that she I've went after exercised you like that. restraint for a year and I'm once you're starting to attack me and my integrity, it's not happening. So Good. I'm not apologizing. I don't think I did anything wrong. I've talked to Lisa personally and um, you know, I'm not gonna say what our conversation was, but we had a lengthy conversation and the only person I feel bad for is Lisa. Yeah. yeah. I mean So you know, uh, um, whatever the bee says, that's her issue and her problem with herself. But don't keep dragging it around like, oh, my God, she thinks she's better than everybody else. She th That's you. That's your insecurity. That's not me. Yeah. Well, they you said know? the same shit. They, they tried the same shit with Emmy. Uh, oh, yeah, because know. she has like 20 degrees. Like, good yeah. for Emmy. Like, they're, they're so she's actually... 50. Oh, now I have 20. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. You that's pretty 20. impressive. I mean, if they're giving me 20 degrees for free, I'll take it. Uh, I don't, I know that's definitely, I made up that number, but I'm just saying it's like the extent of, no, the I get it. They're, so they're over dramatic. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, I didn't delete that comment, but you also could have deleted that comment and everybody else deleted that comment. So why are you trying to, well, like yeah, victim game of like, well, oh, I mean, it, deleted. Uh, yeah, it well, was if, deleted. If you're the victim, then it's easier to get sympathy, and sympathy brings the cha ching. Well, that's I mean, fine. It, I mean, this isn't my job, so luckily yeah. for me, I don't give two flying rats asses. I, I don't either. I know, honestly think that's why they're intimidated by this channel because we don't need it. We're doing it because we want to, you know, they, they actually, funny. I mean, like, seriously, I told my husband about this and he's like, what are you kidding me? Like, where do these people come from? I'm like, um, I don't know. I really don't know. Tennessee. <laughs> Most of <them. laughs> and like, he's like, what they're, what? It's not a job. It's not a real job. Like, and you're trying to make it a job. And then it's like, oh, you're just, there's no way. I disrespected anybody in that chat. I barely even comment because a lot of the times in the chats that I modded, I do think differently than maybe the creator or maybe what the conversation is going on in the chat. And I keep my two cents to myself. Well, I mean, I would say consider yourself lucky because when that shit happened to me, I wasn't even moderating. I just came in and said hello. And it just it went wild quick. And then Lisa ended her live and then did a 12 minute live about me specifically and had, I mean, she was just wrong. I mean, that's all I can say. And I'm not talking shit on Lisa because I like her. Mm -hmm. I would actually recommend her channel to people. I wouldn't yeah, tell them any of I, I really enjoy Lisa. So yeah, but I mean, I'm not, I guess I, I'm going to get criticized for saying that too. I mean, I haven't been on her channel or near her channel since that shit happened last time. I mean, when you get a 12 minute video, ridiculing you for something that you didn't even do you kind of don't want to go back there you know i don't i don't have any will or any urge to be where i'm where i'm not wanted um and faithful um why would i say i don't want to be a mod like i need to understand this right it was just i mean like, it's not what? like you're like, not modding it the was the mentality that i just don't understand like what is it with these people and this obsession with modding like first of all half of the people that were in that chat that day are never in her chat that's number one number two i came mm -hmm. in halfway through the live and i even text lisa that like oh shit, i forgot you were even live i was lounging in my pool yes i'm lounging my fat ass in my pool and mm -hmm. then i got on and started looking at the chat and i'm not holding my phone in my hand the entire time like I don't sit on YouTube all day, 24 hours a day with my phone in my eyeballs. Yeah. Like I yeah. just don't understand like what these people are like, oh, maybe you should have told her you don't want to, like for what? If she doesn't yep. want me to be a, a, a mod or whoever, I don't give a shit. And like I like, said, I'll there were five other mods deleting the comments. Some even Queen Bee, sorry, I didn't watch oh, it. So she showed, a screenshot, there was two mods that tried to delete the same comment. They were getting taken care of. Oh, that fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet the one that it appears she was most worried about was in their own words saying, hey, everybody. No, they just said hi. Oh, they just said hi. Okay. Hi. 
And she was fast enough with her fingers to do that, but yet she wants to bitch about me lounging in my pool. Okay, well, see, I, I just got a message from somebody, and I don't know if this is true. Maybe you guys can help me out. Lisa has since put that video back up, and not knowing what we know about what happened in chat, you can't even tell by watching the video. So no, nothing was ruined. No, uh, yeah. The way, the oh, way yeah, I don't, but Lisa, I don't think even said it was ruined, to be honest with but you. Only the hive said it was ruined. Nothing was ruined. That video, from what I understand, and I'm taking my, my buddy's word on this because they saw it. They said, no, that, was, sure. they said it was tell. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, couldn't yeah. tell anything was wrong it's by hilarious. Like yeah. I, I have nothing. Neg I don't. You know what I mean. I don't look at these people like I'm going to go eat dinner with them tomorrow. You know what I mean. Like they're funny. No. They're funny. So it's like, yeah, she's funny, and they were doing a great little skit type of thing, a parody, and it all hell broke loose in the chat. If anybody was being disrespectful, it was them. Yeah. Well, I know it. I mean, hopefully, Lisa can see clearly that it's a hazard to have such a. You know, I, let's say even if that did happen to her, like what? She but seems like I think a If it did or if it didn't, that's her business, and I'm not even getting involved yet because I don't care enough to. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, I yeah. understand, and it's like, but don't blame me for you saying that your kids were being doxxed. Your kids were not being doxxed. Number one, it said what was the name i think it was a screen name it said rebecca turner does drugs in front of her kids or something i forget exactly what it said but yeah. is that right to say no it's not right to say no that's I, trashy it, that's it trashy, is trashy yeah. it's disgusting anybody would say that and i don't give a shit who you are um and just because i don't care for her doesn't mean that i wouldn't delete that comment but don't blame me that you're getting doxxed when you're not yeah and or, i no, also sorry. she kept saying her kids were being doxxed or something like that to that effect. And the thing the, is, is like that, that wasn't true. And if I saw the, the comment, I would have deleted it, but somebody else did. So what are you gonna do, shoot me? <laughs> no, you're good. I mean, I, again, it's gonna be. Oh, it's but, just, it's manufactured drama. It's just good for, for views. And that's great. I'm glad she can make some money off of me. Good job. My I husband probably people. wishes he, I could make some money for him. <laughs> 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 hey, you still you still may. You just started. You never know. Yeah, right. Oh, that's a good point. Christy M says B was quick to delete in their own words, hello, yet all of the trolls got through. Yeah, no, and there was the, the trolls didn't get through. That's the thing. There was like everybody was deleting things so fast. And here's the thing, like that this is what another thing no one I heard mention yet is so like if I delete a comment first. And then let's say AMAC goes and times that same person out. Um, then it'll say AMAC's name. So how do, does she know who was deleting what? Because if a multiple right. people are deleting comments or timing people out, it's saying whoever was the last person to do that. And I believe every single moderator in that chat was doing stuff. Yeah, I mean, you're... It's just I think ridiculous, everyone, honestly. It's so stupid and so played out. It's like, please, get another narrative because this is so dumb. Oh, well, yeah. Anybody that offers any critici criticism, whether it be, you know, harsh the way I criticize or whether it be very constructive the way, say, Grandma Sherry criticizes. You can't, if you go to criticize someone and they can't take any criticism whatsoever, then it's, it's probably best to just stay the fuck away from that person because it mm -hmm. makes... It makes for a volatile situation. There's no way you have to trust, you know, as humans, we got to trust each other when we're communicating. And if you don't have that trust, it, my advice would be just to stay away, you know? Oh, it's, yeah, for sure. I mean, I have, no, like, you know, I have no interest in listening to what she has to say. But when you're calling my name out and saying, oh, I bet you won't come up on the channel. Um, yeah, I, I will. Um, they tried, you can, he tried me. And you can time me out three times because, you know, you don't want to hear what I have to say. And that's fine. That's her channel or whatever. But I will speak my piece and I will say what I want to say. And the things that she said are fucking lies. So yep. and you, I don't want to hear it up, anymore. You came up really calm. I re-listened to it. And you, when you first got up there, you were super calm. So Well, and the thing is, is all these stupid ass clip channels, like no wire hangers and blank screen. I'm like. You guys look like retards. Like, 
I oh, don't say that word, please. Don't say I'm that sorry. word. Um, idiot. I'll say that word. Idiot. My bad. Um, you look like idiots. How are you going to clip something that doesn't even make sense? Yeah, that's how like they you're do talking, it. You're talking about a pool that yeah. you're never going into. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, are they triggered by chlorine? What What does the chlorine I, do? Like, I just, I, it was so funny, like, commenting. And then No Wire Hangers is like, I'm blocking you because you're you're not having fun. I'm like, um, you're an idiot and you're oh, making man. no sense. And all the people that are commenting make zero sense. Like, are you, you're going to be upset that I was in my pool not modding? Okay, be upset then. Get over it. And I'm Bella with you. has a good point. If she and the others just ignored the trolls that were being deleted, very little would have known what was said. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that's what the message. That fast. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the message I just got on my phone said that, like, it, it's not what they're saying. The show was not interrupted at all, it went off perfectly. Yeah, I mean, the only way the only way we know it, what happened there is because somebody had to make themselves a victim and start talking about their own children and, and some other weird shit. Like, come on, like, nice try. I mean, I don't know Soflo that well, but she's not going to be doing that shit or take part in that shit. I can tell you. That. No, I'm not, and I'm definitely not taking my time doing that. Like, I don't think people realize like, it's just it's, it's not happening. It's a, this is a hobby, not even really a hobby. It's just like something to do to pass time by. It's not like, I don't put that much effort into it. It's funny to me. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, I believe you. Um, it's like, I, how funny can it be to drag something out for an entire week about a pool and modding? Like, it's, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I would have. I would have just gone all the way and like made a bunch of shorts of like cannonballing into my pool. Just to troll them, but yeah. <laughs> but see, I'm faithful. The thing is, is I don't care what it came out as. That's the way I talk, and that's the way I am. If you don't like it, you don't have to listen. You don't have to talk to me. Like I'm not here to please anybody. Um, I missed it, but was there uh, because because she's been hiding all of her lives as soon as they end. Um, there was some point this she week. She said that she said that I talked like a valley girl. She's like. Ugh. She thinks she's so much better than us. And oh my she talks God, like Becky. This. Oh my God, and Becky, look at her butt. It's like, it's yeah. so big. She's like, she came up here with this energy and she, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, I came up here talking like this. If you don't like it, that's not my problem. Yeah, you can suck Once it. again, I'm not going to change who I am for anybody. Amen. Me either. I and mean, it's like I, you don't like how I talk. I don't like how you talk. So what? You know what? Who cares? We're still we yeah. Still have to have a conversation. Like you well, know what I mean? It's just so weird. If we if we had a national debate and then we took a vote as to whose voice is more enjoyable to listen to, yours or that? Ugh, I think I think. We'll I mean, all... and here's the thing: I don't even want to like because I'm not even that petty like them. I'm not even going there. Because I'm not, I'm, that's not who I am. I'm just not like that. Like, I don't care how she talks, but don't yeah. come with your weak ass energy. Like, oh, you're coming up here talking like this. Like, no, <laughs> I'm talking how I talk. And if you have a problem with it, then I'm sorry. Amen. So I guess she challenged me at some point. Like she was like, the, skinny, that little bitch come up on my panel right now. That happened Wednesday or Thursday. I missed that. Did that happen? Oh, I I didn't hear. I I don't listen to her like That's that. hilarious. That's hilarious. I would never go on that burning down. I would never. I would never take part. I would look. I'm not going to go on someone's panel if I wouldn't sit down and eat a meal with them. And I would never eat with those cockroaches. Just never going to happen. So mm -hmm. like trying again. I wasn't even online. I just got another message that said she was she was uh, trying to bait you to join her panel. I'm not joining your panel ever. Never gonna happen. Yeah, that won't be happening right. ever again. When I'm six feet under in a coffin, I'll still never join her panel. Like that um, was the one and done type of thing. Like I don't, I'm not stooping to that level. I don't really give two shits what she says, and I don't care that much. It's just like, do not come at me and expect somebody to cower down to you. And don't. And if you're gonna say something, make sure it's truthful. And I want receipts. 
Uh, Lee, uh, Lee said, I thought Sinner did go on Queen's panel. Yes, I did um, months and months ago, and I went up there to tol tell her that she was a liar and a bully and spreading misinformation. So yes, Lee, you are correct. What I'm speaking on is I will never go on her panel again because she's not worthy of my presence. She's despicable. I'm a better person than she is, therefore I'm not going to do it, no matter what she says. And I used to listen to her panel and I used to laugh and I think it was hysterical, a lot of the stuff. So, I mean, I'm not even going to like sit here in front. Like I didn't, I was a paying member of her channel for a long time up until like a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week. I don't remember. And I enjoyed her, some of her content. It was funny, but now it's just like, I'm not interested and I don't yeah. have to be. I'm I've, I mean, since I discovered that channel, I was skeptical and I've said it many times before. I even went to other people that I, I respected on this platform and was like, what is up with them? Like, how do they get away with being so, you know, I'm just gross for lack of better words, just despicable type actions. And they were like, oh, well, cause people are afraid of her. And I was just like, what afraid of, how See, could you be afraid of it? so bizarre. Like, how are you yeah. afraid of somebody behind a computer? Like, come on. Yeah. And I don't think it's afraid. that they're afraid of the person they're afraid of what's done behind the scenes because look what happened to me yeah and look me what happened to a lot of people yeah in the past and that will continue to happen to people going forward it's not well, they, that you're afraid of the person because like you said they're just someone on the computer screen but what they do behind the scenes that's the stuff that becomes really dangerous well, and that's the thing. That's what attorneys are for. Lawyers are for the law. It's for. So, you know, I'm not even going to go there. Um, yeah. But, you know, if that were, you know, like I said, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. They, it's just, it's their, it's their, it's their playbook, you know. Um, It does bring in the, you know, the ancient question is like, is it better to be respected or feared? You know, and mm -hmm. that's, and it really like uh, in some small way plays into youtube as well because i've, I've been warned of oh oh don't mess with this person because they're scary um i don't ever give a shit about that advice i really don't personally i because i because partially because i've already been doxxed and all my shit's out there already so what you know and the the fascination with this doxing thing like we all have social media we all have our names on our social media we all have houses mortgages car payments i mean most of us do mm -hmm. and whatever else you have and like even student loans we all have our names out there why is everybody so scared of that like that does not intimidate me like i i guess some people want anonymity and that's fine but for me it's like what okay and what like what are you gonna well, you, you you know my name okay i understand that but please, congratulations please, please. But hear me out this way though um like i me for instance i wanted to be anonymous i didn't because yeah. i didn't want to because i've been warned about how things go here so for years i wasn't like much like amac my youtube name was my first and last name i didn't know i was just like i'm proud of who i am why would i you know and mm -hmm. then then i saw shit happen but i i understand someone wanting to be an unanimous anonymous i, I do say. and i respect that i re i do respect that but also on the flip side of it it has become this like weird thing on youtube where people are like they're gonna dox you and like, but i don't care you know what i mean like what are you yeah. gonna do totally yeah you know I mean, what i mean me, like are you gonna me, pay my mortgage or if you get my mortgage information you're gonna pay my car payments are you gonna pay my kids <laughs> school tuition like what what are you gonna do that would be great um, I'm unemployed, so that doesn't matter. You can't call my job, and you know, oh well. Um, well, just just to finish my thought, I I didn't realize how offended I would be by people spreading my information. It wasn't about my information getting out there. It was about someone else doing it and me not having control over my own shit. That's 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 the yeah. bullying. I mean, that's the problem. Well, and Roro -Ro said um, some people have jobs they want to keep. Yes. I understand that. And like I said, that's why I respect people that want to be anonymous and that's fine. But I think it's weird that those people use that against people that do have jobs or do have whatever, whatever it is that they're attacking. And they use that to attack that person. 
Like, exactly. I've never seen something so weak minded in my life. Like yeah, that is and, the weakest thing you could ever do. And we also, we have to keep in mind that this situation is, I mean, this, this venom and all this nastiness is coming from people that have long since been doxxed in the past. So in a lot mm -hmm. of ways, they don't have anything to lose in that way. And there's nothing more dangerous than someone with nothing to lose. So but like whenever like, they, why would somebody want, I wouldn't want to hurt anybody. You know what I mean? Well, well, I mean, there is a line that separates good people and bad people. I think you're probably a good one. Yeah, that's true. I mean, some people I just know. have no conscience and they truly don't care about anything except for, you know, the bottom line, whatever's going to benefit mm -hmm. them and those closest to them. And we're seeing a very clear example of that at the hut. I mean, we're not stupid. Um, Joan said, "When she's willing, when she's willing to to cut the camera on, then maybe um, he's talking will be taken seriously." Yeah, I mean, I think when I go live, I'm going to cam up. I don't want to. Well, that's what why um, Amac and I did it right away because I'm like, I don't care. They're not going to use this. Like, I don't. I just don't care that much, you know. I may have a red like, ski mask on, but. <laughs> Like, you but, uh, could pull a Kanye and wear, like, a Michael Myers mask. Well, I've, I've already discussed it with Emmy. I was like, all right, I'm setting up to go live. Just the only real question is, what color is the ski mask going to be? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Ooh, we lost all right, already. well, I don't, I don't want to take, I don't want to keep drilling this because it's just so stupid to me that I just can't, but I just wanted to add my two cents in. So I we appreciate, appreciate you guys for letting me up. Yeah. I'll go and, back uh, in the chat. And your, your live has been moved till tomorrow, right? Yes. Yep. We're okay, gonna go cool. live tomorrow. Cool. I'll All be right, there. Guys, have a good night. I'll be in the chat. See Thanks you so close. Cool. All right. Bye. And I agree with you, Queen Bella. We don't want to continue with this drama and BS, but they want to continue to call us out. And just like one of the comments in in Lisa's chat, crimes and fashion, the other day. My question was if it. If it was about B and she didn't like it, why did she make an analogy using my name, my job, and what people could do with it? Like, why deflect onto me about something you didn't like? It just, it doesn't make any sense. So. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's my, that's the point to a couple of my community posts was like, like, obviously she's been wronged by a lot of people and i'm not discrediting that you know um but the old adage hurt people hurt people that's what we're seeing here like she doesn't realize because she's been beaten down to this position where she's a specific you know archetype she's a specific type of person with a specific money making you know uh uh like uh, her whole existence is about the money so like, I, I do feel some sympathy for that, but she needs to work on herself instead of blaming the whole world for her problems. I mean, I'm not a problem of hers. I just criticize the garbage shit that she says about my friends and about me. That's called defending yourself. And I will continue to do that. I know Emmy's over it, you know, but I, I, if, if I see someone bullying somebody, I, I can't help but say something. I'll, I'll put it that way. I mean, that's how I fucking became friends with Gina Diamond because they were going at her all crazy. And then and then just supporting her in that, I got I got accused of blaming uh, any criticism on being anti-trans. They just always try to turn it into something they're not. I don't give a shit what Gina has between her legs and it's none of my business. If I see a human being being picked on and I can help them out, I'm going to help them out. What is it, that uh, social triangle that we're all in? We're either a victim perpetrator or a savior and we're all stuck in this triangle just fucking bouncing around the secret to life is getting the fuck out of that triangle and you could just observe things and be helpful when you can yeah jenny whatever happened to the listening to understand not listening to react thing well because then you wouldn't have anything dramatic happen if you if you're just listening to understand there's no drama in that but if you listen to elicit a reaction, that gives you drama. Yeah. 
and and believe me, I'm not I'm not taking some moral superiority here. I've I've done a dozen things wrong on this platform. Most of them I'm, I've taken accountability for. Um, the other ones that you just there's nothing you can do, like the Thanksgiving being drunk online. Now there's nothing I could do about that. Although that that's what they call my first impression. They weren't listening to me for the couple months before that. All the positive and kind things I was saying, they all they remember is that. So again, smashing something into a box that you've been carrying around with you your whole life doesn't make it fit. Uh, yeah, I better live life. Do I want to react or respond? And it's really hard not to react. I've got to say, I'm. I mean, I. I complain and I swear and I say all kinds of things to Sinner and Amax, Oflo. Like it's the words are flowing, but they're not flowing online. And that's where a lot of it needs to stay is offline. Yeah. I mean, I, they say, it, they say it, but I, I know, I, I don't know what's true for them, but I, I do know what's true for me. If we were to sit down at a table with these people, they wouldn't be talking the way they, they do. And I would, because I back up what I say 100%. I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be the person they want me to be. Sorry. My parents raised me better than that. Chronicles of the Shady, the more I learn about what happened to you, the more pissed off I get for you. Yeah, uh, Simply, Ro Simply Rockstar says, yeah. Um, Simply Rockstar wants to tell Gina how to live her life. Well, I think, I think, I mean, I think that that statement should say everyone needs to take their own advice sometimes. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I know I've done things that I wish I had just not done. Oh, no, for so, sure. And that's that's the best response, Gina. You ain't my daddy, don't tell me shit. I mean that's I mean SoFlo's touched on this a few times too in, in, in their um in their lives. Uh You, you don't have to do what they say. You know, they're, I don't understand where they get off telling people what they should or shouldn't do. I don't even do that. I just criticize what they've already done. I don't say, oh, like a little, like Timmy, like, oh, he's basically giving me instructions on how to deal, how to handle my own personal Gmail account. Boy, go sit down. I don't need life advice from somebody that's just like, like you. I'll just say that. I'd rather learn on my own than get than get some boy's advice on anything. Oh, so much road rage this week. That's a good play on word shambles. Is road rage still here? I haven't seen a comment by them, but yeah, road rage was uh pretty cool last night, from what I saw at least. I didn't see much, but Oops, Echo. I like that name. Oh, shit. Sorry. I hope you're feeling better. They're getting over the big C. Oh. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I go in and I try to defend people that I, I perceive as being bullied. And I'll, I'll admit it to you guys. Sometimes I have it wrong. But I mean, if I do have it wrong, then I, I correct correct my actions. But it's, I've never had it wrong on here. So, I mean, in real life, I've, I've invested in people that I shouldn't have. But on here, I haven't. Everyone has turned out to be exactly who I thought they were. Because, I mean, maybe it's because I'm 46 and I've traveled a lot and I've interacted with a bunch of people from different cultures and backgrounds. That it's, maybe it's easier for me to see when someone's full of shit. I don't know. Um, but I've seen people that I care about on here be duped by people, trying to control what they do. I mean, just that whole hashtag say no movement, all those psychopaths, like that was like one of the most anti-bullying 
are one of the most bullying, anti-bullying campaign I've ever seen. I mean, they were collecting everyone's information and trying to get people evicted for having pets. That's how dark that shit got. Yeah, and from again... A, from Australia, <laughs> they were doing this. Don't they have anything better to do with their time? Like, there's a huge yeah. world out there. Spending time trying to do some of this fuck shit, like there's a lot of good you could be doing instead of trying to figure out how to get someone evicted. Yeah. Like, it's so weird. Just imagine, imagine what it would take for like just an average person to be like, all right, I'm going to go out of my way to pursue interacting with this person's employment or their landlord, or that is just creepy. And we should all be on alert when that kind of stuff happens. You know, it's uh it should never be normalized. This stuff should never be normalized. That's why, like, you know, that's what gets me fired up so often. It's like if, if these things get to a point where everyone's like, oh, well, that's just the way it is. Nah, it's only the way it's it's only that way is because we're permissive of it. You know, we all have to be responsible for the shit. And, and it's not for everyone. Just because it's always, quote, been that way doesn't mean it's it has to continue to be so um sorry amac if we talked over you i feel bad like she didn't she didn't say much i've been i've been waiting a week to ramble here so i'm trying to get it all out but uh i do have a funny story um so i've posted eight videos nine videos now and the analytics are just bonkers. So I've got 60% of my viewers are males. Is that even possible? So I found all the dudes in the drama community and they're, they're watching my stuff. And like 11% uh, of them are in India. So what up India? I'm trying to see the chat here and the chat is nothing but bullies i swear someone threatened oh yeah they that's what they do they're like oh i can't pay attention to the chat because there's so many people chatting no i've seen much larger i mean i not to keep bringing ikimel into it but why doesn't it happen there i mean i'm only mentioning channels that i'm most familiar with that i know it doesn't happen it doesn't happen in down the rabbit hole news it doesn't happen in ikimel it doesn't happen in gray hughes all respectable people doing respectable things. Where it does happen is with the with the scoundrels and the scumbags. Over and over again. And there's really no refuting that. It's just it's a fact. Uh Mr. Nobody says that theirs is a hundred percent women. Interesting. Oh really? <laughs> Well, I, I have so few videos now, so the analytics are just not dependable. But I thought it was funny. It's like I got a bunch of men from India and Russia, which is awesome. Welcome, welcome in, guys. Like, um, but I don't have much confidence in the you know validity of those numbers. Um, but my the the video that the short that I put out that's uh, you know performing the best is a 15 second video of like a babbling brook it has nothing to do with anything it's just rushing water so that tells me what people they don't most people don't want to see this stuff all day every day Nina said the uh, indian guys love my facebook that, that's funny um someone said that my traveling has has uh, gave me a different perspective it definitely has i mean i was i was a young man my first time to japan and I, I was there for six months i mean straight from pittsburgh to san diego to japan <laughs> and so like i you know of course i didn't do everything right i wish i would have learned the language better um but something happened about a month into being in japan the first time i was sort of just like you know being mousy not really being too adventurous and then i it dawned on me oh shit, man you're in japan like who knows you may never get back here again so that's when I just went on, you know, all night walks with my friends with a, you know, backpack of beer and we climbed trees and we went all through downtown Tokyo. We just loved it. 
And uh, those experiences did change who I am quite a bit. Um, Lost Mother, I mean, if you're not interested in what we're saying, you definitely don't have to be here, but yeah. I'm glad that you are. Don't, don't hurt your toe kicking them rocks. Or getting lost, for that matter. <laughs> oh, I just no. saw a comment. Hope's echo. No, but I mean, my haters are getting me most of my views, so like, you know, they they do play a vital role in this ecosystem here. Uh, Hope's echo said, "My 18 year old grandson graduates graduates from Army boot camp, the 22nd Center. I'm so proud." Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I you know I if I had to do it all over again, I would do it all over again, exactly the same. I wouldn't want to. I would be afraid to see who I would be had I not joined the Marines. You know, it made me a much better person despite what pe unaccomplished people may say. Oh, everyone look at what Yep said. I got those vet records for you and pulled the receipts for you. I'll send them tonight. I've just had a really hard day. Hope we can stop this BS about the vet not their card. I don't know what that's what? referring to. I have no idea what that's about either. Oh, Hippie found out that her daughter is eloping to California in the next couple of weeks. I cried oh. for days. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Hippie. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm out here, Hippie. If you need me to go break anyone's legs, you just say the word. <laughs> uh, you probably shouldn't say that. You know, it's going to well, get... Well, I mean... I, they're going to get care. it twisted. No, I don't I care. Know. I have a sense of humor, and if they're going to take everything I say seriously, they're beyond help. But now I'm kind of bummed. I was hoping the uh, Real Housewives were going to go live after us. Yeah, I know. They, but they, it'll be cool having something, you know, to to watch tomorrow. Yes. Um, um you used to do um member member lives on sunday yeah i used to i'm getting so sick and tired of them picking on you i mean it's driving me nuts oh i mean they can do what they want i mean at this point it's like you know i mean it's just it explicit explicit online bullying nothing more nothing less but i've learned not to respond yeah so i mean I've learned to become more measured in my response. So that's a step forward. That's progress for me. Um, but I did actually. So for those of you who don't know, I I have TikTok for my Headstones account, but I hadn't used it in a while. And what I did post was mostly about Betty. I had a few things about Mallory. Well, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start doing shorts. So with the in Kentucky, Louisville yesterday, there was that semi that had was dangling off the bridge. And there was a another press conference today about it, but um, that's for another time. Anyways, I decided to do a short about it first because the video was going to take me a little bit longer. And so I decided to put it on TikTok. And, you know, Betty's always talking about views on TikTok, which I know if someone swipes past your video, it still counts as a view. But I had almost 6,000 views on that short about the Kentucky Bridge incident. So I'm like, holy crap. Like, that's insane to me. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. 15,000, something like that. 5,000. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I misread it. Oh, um, if it glow was fifteen thousand. That would be even better, but no, five thousand. Glow with glow said, "I wanted to wait for you to finish talking, but she said her husband was a marine who served in Vietnam." Well, salute to him. The glow is becoming one of the most interesting people on here. Like I, I don't think it's giving too much away that her husband was involved in the music scene down down in the south, and he was a marine too. He sounds like he was he was a magical damn person. I mean, that's, to, to, you know, uh, uh, most Marines that I know um, don't get out and pursue, you know, artistic type stuff. There's a few of us. 
Um, so it, I think it takes a, a, a specific type of person to, to be able to, you know, be in the Marines and, and still like be a musician or be a, an artist. I mean, I can I can watch a football game, uh, paint a painting, and drink rosé whenever I was drinking at the same time. So I guess, I'm I'm a rare egg, I guess. But oh, Glow said he also painted and wrote novels. Hey, that's awesome. Oh wow! It seems you were blessed there, Glow. Bob Ross was a sergeant in the military. That is true. I think cheese taught me that a couple months ago. I didn't. I didn't know that until then. Fun fact about Bob Ross paintings: he painted like thousands and tens of thousands of paintings, but you can't buy one. They're all in a warehouse. Hmm. They're actually harder to get than a Warhol. What a waste! Enough. I know. Well, I think there's a reason. I watched. I watched a thing about it years ago. I can't really recite what the reasons were but it was interesting and of course this always leads to mr rogers uh, was in fact never in the military and everyone was like oh he was a sniper no it's all i love thomas kincaid as well glow my current favorite artist is uh, a man named david cho very interesting character um from uh Koreatown, Los Angeles. Um, he, he's a controversial guy, but his art is amazing. He no longer sells his paintings either. Um, but he's got a show on Hulu called The Cho Show now, so he makes good money anyways. But he became famous for um, making friends with the Facebook guys early on. Not friends. They became aware of who he was as an artist, and they invited him to the headquarters of Facebook when it was brand new. And... Uh, offered him a commission to do a mural in the inside of the office wall. And he agreed to that. Um, and he didn't have a lot of money at the time. And he'd just gotten out of jail in Japan for punching a cop. That's a whole different story. But he got that opportunity at Facebook and he took it. But then they offered him, I think it was $50,000. I don't know the exact number. It's been exaggerated and shrunk down. So I mean, no one knows really. But he was offered an explicit amount of money. And then he went ahead and took the the stock option instead. So whenever Facebook went public, his fifty thousand dollars worth of old stock was worth became worth two hundred million dollars, which made him the richest living artist, American artist currently. So it's complex. Sorry, that was a bit a bit much. I don't know if anybody even cares. <laughs> uh, Irish badass says this will separate you. From the men, how do you properly hold a wine glass for rose? Oh, rosé. Rosé. Um, with the pinky out, of course. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Glow, there's two Emmy Headstone TikTok accounts. Mine is going to be under Headstones and Headlines. So Emmy Headstone TikTok is going to be probably like the one I used personal for my personal use a while ago. Um, it is on in the description of my my about section for headstones, but it's headstones and, and headlines, not Emmy Headstone. Uh, Ten, no, I haven't heard of that artist, but I've I've taken to the habit of keeping a notebook here, so I just wrote it down. I will check it out. Um, my Irish second Bennett. favorite art, oh my, my second gosh. favorite artist is is um a Chinese national. Well, actually, I think he's in exile now because of this protesting. But um his name his name is uh, Ai Weiwei. And he does installation sculptures and shit. It's just fucking amazing stuff. Um, he's very political, a very for the people type of guy. Irish Bada said, incorrect, sir. Stem. Holding it by the glass will warm the wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't tell you that I used to drink my wine from a pint glass then, so it's going to blow your mind completely. I don't drink wine, so I mm -hmm. want to know the answer to that. Dinner, not center. Yeah, I, they, I, I'm called center and dinner. dinner. And <laughs> no. But I've definitely been called worse. So. Oh, that's true. Mr. Nobody says you can still have your pinky out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can hold it by the stem with the pinky out. 
Thanks, Mr. Nobody. But um, I guess there's still like a a, a small contingent a contingent of um, slime balls like bashing us on Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. I don't understand why they don't get that. I don't care what happens on Twitter. It makes it has no bearing on my existence whatsoever. I thought I saw Granny's watching in here. I forgot to say hi to her. Like, yeah, Granny was here a little bit earlier. Yep. I heard the bus pull up. Yeah, Remy. So Steph B said, um, "My wine doesn't last doesn't last long enough for it to get warm." And then Remy said, "That's what I'm saying." Ooh, it just went past. Does anyone drink that slow? <laughs> okay, hold on one second, Emmy. Yeah, sure. Oh, Granny is still here. Hey, Granny. Hey, Wispy. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Irish badass. Twitter X isn't the same ever since my future ex-husband purchased it. Yeah. And I still call it Twitter. I mean, why, why do you have to call it X? Because everyone says X, formerly known as Twitter. I mean... And what do you call, like, you call the post a post? It just, I mean, why, why change it? Oh, you can hear that busted down baby boy miles away, Granny says. Oh, good. She's still around. I wasn't sure. Okay, so I, I won't be able to see chat from where I'm at. Went ahead and moved it. I'm going to go sit outside because it's nice out uh, Granny said, my favorite artist is Bansky. I got a couple tattoos of his work. Oh, Banksy's the shit. Um, very interesting about Banksy. Uh, they're, they're an, uh, I always fuck this up. They're anonymous. No one knows who they are. Um, there were some rumors that it was um, the guitar player from that band Massive Attack, which was the most interesting theory that I heard. But we know they're British. And we know they're political, but we don't know much else. Oh, Remy said, Sinner will forever be dinner because that's what my phone autocorrects to. That makes sense why it's always dinner. I'll take it. Oh, Irish badass. I did not know that. X was a failed company that Elon tried to develop years ago. X is a recycled name that he used. Oh. I didn't know that either. I did not know that either. Very strange. I don't know. I, I, I watched the whole like four hours of Elon Musk on Joe Rogan. I'm kind of on the fence with that Joe Rogan guy. I mean, I understand why people criticize him. But at the same time, I, I usually get, he gets such, uh, you know, impressive guests on there that even if you don't like Joe, you can watch the show and get a little it. Dr. Phil was talking about getting swatted like once a month. He's, he knows all the sheriff by name in his county because they're there every other day. You have to keep me in tune with the chat because I can't. I'm, I'm away from it. Oh, yeah. It's gloomy out, but it's pretty nice still. But we shouldn't stay on forever. Like they're they're not worth that much of your energy. We should enjoy our, our day here. Well, it's seven fifteen here, and it's still rain. It's been raining all day. Um. So, mother of one. I'm not sure. And I know you said you had a broken hand, so it's hard to type. But I'm not making fun of anyone. What does the comment say? Um, so first she said, please don't make fun of, and then there was like a typo. Okay. And so I asked, who am I making fun of? And then <laughs> she said, oh, my name. <laughs> but I. You got another victim. Um, my son to unaliving himself three years ago. I'm not. I don't what the know. Hell? Wait, time out, time out. 
Nobody said anything about anyone's son, anything like that. Nobody here said that. Why, why would someone come into our chat to make themselves a victim to something that didn't even happen? I mean, it's absolutely terrible if that's true, what she's saying happened to her, but that's got nothing to do with us. Let's just face it here. That is some Queen Bee shit. Yeah, Remy, I don't. Yeah, I'm. Let's block Thank them. You, so slow. Yeah, I I didn't even mention that, and I would never, ever. Yeah, they're obviously not like familiar that. with this channel. Yeah, they're not familiar with this or channel. Or they're not familiar or, with. Or with us whatsoever. With my past, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to impulsively share my my history with that subject with you people just to, because I'm prompted. But, lady, you're wrong. I will say that. Well, they they were sent packing Good. for now for a day. They can take a break. Yeah, that's just grimy. I mean. I, 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 Again, it, it comes back to what I was saying earlier. Like a lot of us have been through stuff. A lot of people uh, on YouTube, you know, especially people that gravitate towards this genre of, of YouTube, they've seen some shit. They've been through some shit. But Emmy and I are not the people that hurt you. I need all of the haters and all the people that project their their past problems onto me and Emmy. They just need to do some self evaluating. You know, they need to talk to their real life friends about what's going on. Maybe they can explain to them. You can't just blame everything for, for your what's gone on in your life. It's it's bad for everyone, including yourself, when you do that. Well, and I just figured out I now I know what they're talking about. And this is this is where people construct the narrative they want. Sinner, you had said that they they should find a hobby like go kick rocks or something and i said or go get lost i wasn't making fun of her name i was just saying go get lost oh yeah like, see it's just, lost it's in a, the forest and then it was twisted into i'm talking about her son who who took his own life no how would anyone know that right and ha asking telling someone to get lost is not making fun of them or anything about their life yeah it's well just let's, let's, let's just leave it let's just leave it no i they're know but i'm just saying that's that's no, what happens they're obviously having a difficult time and that's i do feel bad for them but we're not their problem yeah. they are hey gemini slacker like oh i like the picture too it's a cat with coffee or tea it looks like i mean remy i could be wrong but yeah it's whatevs <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's just, I mean, that's exactly like that, uh, uh, the doll making kook lady, same thing, same type of people. Like they, it's clear that they've had some, they've gone through some shit, but they're just misappropriating their anger and, uh, whatever it is. I'm not taking responsibility for their tragic past. I'm just not going to do it. Agreed. But, uh, yeah. How many people are watching? I can't tell from here. Uh, 159. Sweet. So just, just for those in the peanut gallery, that's, you know, 109 more than 50. Actually, it's I mean, 161 now, so. Sweet. I mean, you're the math teacher. Maybe you can, maybe you can give them some lessons. They, they can't, they're really bad with numbers and words and facts. We're all bad at something. I know. Some people are bad at everything. Yes, yeah, so Flo, we did have quite a, we had 185-ish at one point. Yep. And look, I and I, I think Emmy feels the same way. If there were 20 of us in here, I'd be I'd be stoked with that. It's 20 strangers <laughs> around the world that want to listen to my dumbass talk about how I feel about this shit. 
you know, that's, that's good enough for me. I'd rather have 20 decent people than 15.4 thousand despicable people. I said it before, right? I said, uh, I'd rather starve with the good people than feast with the bad people. And I mean that I really do. Well, I used to have nightmares about math class. Math was the only subject I was really good at. It's the only one I was really good at. I couldn't remember dates in, in social studies. I couldn't science. I had no idea what was happening. English. I love to read, but not what they wanted me to read. So. I love school so much. It's crazy. Um, I'm part of the reason I love school, school so much is because I was raised in poverty and I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty poverty stricken for most of elementary school, middle school, and most of, mostly all of high school. And, uh, when I went to school, I was able to have friends and, you know, I guaranteed meal, you know, I, I understand why kids don't like school nowadays, but I loved it. I mean, it was, it was, it's how I got fed. You know, it's how I, how I learned things. I don't understand. I don't know. I even talked people out of hating school when I was in school. I'm like, come on guys. It's not that bad. Like we can make spitballs. Like what's, what's the problem? Yeah. I love school mostly because my friends were there. I mean, that's where all the me girls were. I Staying mean, home you... was always a good, I, I stayed home like maybe once or twice a year. I'd ask my mom if we could just stay home, but yeah. I've skipped school before, but I, you know, on most days I would go. There were only a handful of times that I actually left school like a, like a hooligan midday. <laughs> AMAC went to the school for the boys. Yeah, if I hated school, I mean, that's where all the girls were when I was in high school. Where else was I going to be? What the heck? Oh, and M. Faithful says, I'm an English literature addict. That's oh, right, because... Awesome. Oh, no, wait, I've been thinking of somebody else. I'm not sure exactly where F M. Faithful is. I thought she was somebody else for a minute. Hey, turtle. Hello. Well, part... One of, part of the reason that I've been not on the internet every day or like jumping on panels and expressing my opinion is because I, I, I started reading less and less to the point where like I had one book that I hadn't finished and I was like, fuck, man. Because I, I love reading. I'll get lost for hours in a book. Um, and YouTube was distracting me with that because no matter how hard I try, you're always looking to see who said what or what's going on. You know, even if, even if you don't want to, like, you know, I'm not the only one. But I, I realized it was happening to me like I was a teenager. And I was like, all right, this is getting too, you know, becoming too big of a part of my existence, you know. And actually, it is national, I think it's National Reading Month. Oh, We're cool. doing a reading challenge at work. So there's a school competition. And then there's um, some of the teachers signed up to do an outside of school competition. So I need to get it together because a lot of people have long commutes so they're going to give me a run for my money so oh you okay you're in uk all right i've got a lot of a lot of um interaction with the people in the uk on youtube recently because I, I hang out over in mel 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 and pandora's uh, channel quite a bit um, because of the time difference, she doesn't come on until like 11 o'clock at night. Which is not so bad for a guy like me that can go to sleep and wake up whenever he wants. But um, I think a lot of the people that I normally interact with here don't are familiar with her because it's so late at night. And I don't agree with everything that's said or done there. I mean, I would be a fool to say that. But she, provi she provides a platform where you can't have different varying opinions, which is, you know, rare these days.
Oh, we could do a book club. I mean, we could. I mean, we could. We're actually, the book we're reading for, we're having book club at work too, is The Devil in the White City, which is about the notorious serial killer H.H. H. Holmes, who would oh. rent rooms. And it was pretty much like the movie, I think of the movie Saw or Yeah, yeah I'm familiar. There's another movie where they were kind of they were trapped in rooms. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, he was I mean, it was during the World's Fair and he I mean, who knows was how it many Ch Chicago, are. right? Yeah. Ch Chicago, yeah. Yeah, it was a giant apartment building that was had all mm -hmm. kinds of secret passages and hidden rooms. I mean, absolute nightmare fuel. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, I, I've i always wanted to read it. And and I hadn't. So this is, you know, the perfect opportunity. There's one book that I'm reading and I just found it the other day. And I was like, oh, my God, I have like I have like 30 pages left. Like, just get it done. And I just. So. Read a lot of uh, Haruki, Haruki Murakami's books. He's my favorite author. Um, although I'm, I fear that I'm, I'm outgrowing it, like I'm maturing past it. it, it does have a bit of like adolescent angst to it, and I've, I'm outgrowing that. So I still enjoy it, but it used to be my number one, and now I'm looking for something else. Eric Larson, that's right, that's the author. Oh, it's yeah, always it a, over there, Faithful. So I've never been to England. So, you know, what I've seen, it always seems like it's nice weather, but. I've never been to London either. I've been, I've, I had one of my exes is from uh, the British Channel, Channel Island of Guernsey. I've been there. That place was pretty cool. And they are British, but it's strange. Like Guernsey has their own money. If they can't spend on mainland UK, but you can spend British pounds in Guernsey. It's strange. It's just a tiny little island. You can walk around it. <clears throat> They're known for it's a uh, Guernsey and Jersey are the name of the two two islands there. They call them the Channel Islands. It's basically all Guernsey is is like a cow pasture with like. World War II German like bunkers. So most of their money comes from tourism to, you know, check out the bunkers. And uh, all the high school kids party in those tunnels. There was a book. Oh my gosh, what was that book? It was something, the Guernsey something. The Guernsey. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to know it. Let me look it up quick. It's, it's a cool place. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't go back to visit for any other reason again, but I mean, it was good to see it. It's a oh. strange. Like, there's a couple of nightclubs there. It's very, I guess, calling it Euro is too on the nose, but it's very like Night at the Roxbury, the nightclubs there. And I found it the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. That was a book I read years ago. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Is it is it that in the Guernsey? Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize it's also a major motion picture on Netflix. Huh. Oh yeah, it was published in two thousand eight. So I was gonna say it was it was a while ago. Might have to check that out. raining again in california i really wanted to go up and see the snow but all the roads are closed like i'm from pittsburgh I, I i'm well versed in big snow but when i hear 10 plus feet i'm like what is that even real i mean buffalo i mean buffalo's gotten i feel like that much at certain times no yeah thank you yeah yeah they get the crazy lake effect snow too I remember the blizzard until I think it was 93 or 94 in Pittsburgh. It was like, it's hard to explain. I mean, I, 
you had to, I did tunnel to my buddy's house a couple doors down. Like there was no, you couldn't see cars anymore. They were just completely covered. And I was a fucking newspaper delivery boy. So that made for an interesting morning. Yeah, Gemini Everybody, said, there's not enough money in the world to put me on the Tahoe grade right now. Yeah, it's nasty up there. It's strange to think that it's only an hour and a half away and where I'm sitting, it's like 55 and sprinkling. It's not bad here. It, it feels like 39 and it's still raining, but tomorrow's supposed to be 60 and partly sunny. So I'm excited. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be in the 50, high 50s most of the week. Nice. All right. Well, I mean, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I, that's everything I wanted to say. I just I just want to quickly summarize because I, I was a bit scatterbrained. Um, and this is specifically at the hive and the things they've said about me this week. Um, that's a negative. I was not in crimes and fashion chat. I was not in crimes and cha fashion shadows. That's the last time I'm going to talk about it. Stop blaming other people for your sloppy situation. I have no urge to interact with you people that way. Um, I don't secret myself when I'm criticizing people. That's what cowards do. And I'm not a coward. I don't dox people. Never once have I doxed anyone, and I have no intentions or any will to do that. Again, that's what they do. I'm not like them. That's, I mean, that's pretty much all. I mean, that was my whole point of going live today, is just to reiterate that everything that they're saying is a lie. And it's just, it, I know why they're lying. They know why they're lying, but it just has to be said. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks everybody for being here. We Indeed. appreciate you. Yeah, you guys are the best. And uh I appreciate people sticking up for me because I haven't been on you know online online too much. Um, but don't get yourself in trouble with these goons trying to, you know, be <laughs> I I appreciate it, but just don't get yourself put in in, you know lumped in with me because they're going to do everything they can to make me miserable and so far they're failing yep and uh yeah hope everybody has a great night yeah and oh you know as always make sure your notifications are on i i'm gonna try to do videos more videos um than i have been because i feel like it it takes a lot more work than going live but I feel like it kind of, you know, condenses things into smaller bits. So um, be sure to have your notifications on for my Headstones and Headlines account because you never know when I'll go live next. But Sinner and I should be live again next Saturday. So yeah. we hope to and, see uh, you all then. Yeah, uh, God willing, we won't have to be talking about the same, you know, douche bag people next week hopefully we can have some fun shit to talk about um that's my for hope sure. you know for sure um, but yeah um yeah if you and i'm close to 500 if you guys can sub up to my center channel that'd be a great help i was past 500 and then the troll struck and it went back down to 490 <laughs> so maybe it was the trolls that were subbed you never know yeah yeah i don't take any of that personally I mean, the only numbers i worry about are you know personal to my life and not on YouTube. I don't don't really care that much. Yes, and don't forget that AMAC and SoFlo are live tomorrow night as well. So we hope to see you at the pool party. Yes, we'll be there. All right, y'all. Have a great right, night. Have... Yeah. Peace. Peace.